I made a change to the weed control combination I'm using on my Bermuda and Zoysia lawns. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm using and exact ratios that I put it in my tank. Let's get started right now. I've got a bunch of different products here that I'm gonna walk through. I'm gonna tell you what I used to do on my Bermuda and Zoysia lawns. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing now and the change that I've made. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I made that change. I feel like I've got a combination for weed control in my Bermuda and Zoysia lawns that I'm really, really excited about. One thing I have come to realize is that putting a little bit of extra money or better quality products in the tank and blanket spray in the yards on our Bermuda and Zoysia lawns may save you a lot of time and energy later and even money later of having to go back and spot treat those tough weeds. So I want the best combination of products I can use. I say best and, and meaning that what I feel like is the best results for the price. I mean, obviously you could put together some unbelievable combination that would be so expensive that you could hardly afford it. But uh, for the money and what I think is very, very effective, uh, I think this will be a great product combination. They'll also save me time not having to go back and spot to treat these weeds later. I'm shooting this and the grass is still dormant, but I am getting ready to start putting out a pre and post emergent combination to help get rid of the warm season weeds in the lawn. I'm also gonna be targeting the cool season weeds that are still hanging around the lawn. So the first product I wanna to talk to you about is this product right here. This is Resolute 65WG. And you'll see here the active ingredient there is prodiamine. Now this is gonna be my pre-emergent that I'm putting down. I'm in Alabama. And so I'm doing this typically in January and February. I wanna get all my lawn sprayed for my weed control and fertilization business before the end of February. Because sometimes if we have a warm February, you may actually can see visible crabgrass. So the idea with this pre-emergent is I wanna get this down and watered in before the crabgrass germinates. And not just crabgrass, other weeds too. Uh, but this is gonna do a fantastic job on keeping crabgrass out of our warm season lawns. I'm putting this product down at 0.85 pounds per acre. Now, how do I come up, uh, how do I measure that out? Well, that's gonna require you to calibrate your sprayer. So you see here, I've got this big spray rig on the back of my truck, 400 gallon spray rig, comes from Graham Spray Equipment. And I've got it calibrated where I spray two gallons per thousand square feet. And then thankfully, I've got this blue measuring cup here. And, and so at this point, it becomes a simple math equation. So let's say I've got 300 gallons of water in one side of the tank, because that's how it's a split tank. The large side holds 300 gallons. Let me show you the math real quick on my phone. All right, so if it's 300 gallons, and then you can see my reflection there, I'm gonna divide that by two, because that is the amount of gallons I'm spraying per thousand square feet. Now, that may be different for you. You may walk faster or slower than me. You may have adjusted to different volumes. That's where your calibration needs to come in. And if you have trouble with that, you can always do a search for lawn care life calibration after you watch this video. And there's a detailed video on that, uh, how to calibrate your sprayer. But at two gallons uh, per thousand square feet is what I'm spraying. So 300 gallons of water divided by two, which is the amount of gallons I'm spraying per thousand square feet. And then I'm gonna divide that by 43.56. There's 43,560 square feet in an acre. And what does that come out with? 3.44. So that's how many acres I can cover with 300 gallons of water at two gallons per thousand square feet. Now the reason that is important, the 3.44 is because I already told you, I'm spraying this product at 0.85 pounds per acre. So I'm gonna take that number, that 3.44, and I'm gonna multiply that by 0.85 pounds. Okay, and I get 2.92. So I'm gonna put 2.92 pounds in 300 gallons of water, and that is the rate I'm using on this Resolute 75, I'm sorry, on this Resolute 65 WG. Now that's my pre-emergent. Well, that's uh, gonna really help out with the warm season weeds that have yet to germinate in the lawn. But what about the post-emergent standpoint? It's very common to mix pre and post-emergence together. You're trying to maybe finish off some cool season weeds that are still hanging around, or maybe there's some warm season weeds that's already germinated. I wanna knock those out. So that's what I'm doing kind of early in the year. The opposite would be true in the fall. I'm trying to get ahead of the cool season weeds, but there may be some warm season weeds I wanna to try to finish off. So you could use actually this same combination. I use a little different combination in the fall. Uh, but anyway, let me show you the post-emergent products I'm using. I wanna to talk to you about why I'm using these products and what's different this year from what I've done in the past. I will say too that these 
programs where I tell you exactly what I'm spraying on the lawns with Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, St. Augustine, they're available on my website, LawnCareLife.com, in the weed control and fertilization documents. So there's also uh, training courses and things like that, the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy, there's pricing charts, all kind of resources if you're looking to get into weed control and fertilization business. All right, we're gonna put the surfactant in there. So two pints per 100 gallons of water. So again, if I'm gonna use 300 gallons of water like I used in the previous example, I'd put six pints of the surfactant in there. What that's gonna do is gonna help the herbicides be more effective. Now, if I was just applying the Resolute, then I wouldn't even worry about putting the surfactant in there. This just needs to be watered into the soil. Since I'm using some post-emergent products, I want the surfactant in there to make those more effective. So the two post-emergents I'm gonna be using in this particular application is Manor, which is the active ingredient Metzulfuron, and I'm using it at a very, very low rate, 0.25 ounces per acre. Okay, you heard me right, 0.25 ounces per acre. A quarter of an ounce covers an entire acre. So this bottle right here is not very expensive and when you're using it at that low rate, this is gonna be a very, very cost-effective herbicide that works great. And I'm gonna mix it in with the other product that I use a lot, and you've probably heard me talk about this on the channel if you're a regular viewer. If you're not, please subscribe to the channel. But uh, Change Up is one I also use. And this can be used on warm season and cool season lawns. You wanna check the label, make sure it can be used on your cool season lawn. Um, but definitely with the Bermuda Zoysia Centipede St. Augustine grass. Now, I wouldn't wanna use this on a centipede lawn during spring transition. It can seriously delay the green up. But my goal here is on these Bermuda and Zoysia lawns to do it actually before transition. And I'm gonna go at a very low rate of this, actually even below the label rate, at 12 ounces per acre. So again, you came back to the math equation I was doing on my phone earlier. It was like 3.44 acres and 300 gallons. Well, I'm gonna multiply that by 12 and that's gonna tell me exactly how many ounces of change up to put in the tank. I'm gonna take that same 3.44 and multiply by 0.25 and it's gonna tell me exactly how much of the manor, the metzulfuron, to put in the tank. So, so the manor here comes with this handy little measuring cup. That's what I'm gonna use for that. And of course, uh, I showed you the measuring cup for the uh, prodiamine and I've got a, a measuring cup here that I can use for the change up. So I'm going to mix all those up and of course put the surfactant in there. Now that's the products I'm using now but what is different from what I'm doing now to what I used to do and I want to tell you why I made the change. So the products I used to use uh, last year I was still using the prodiamine, I was still using the surfactant but I was using this product here, atrazine. You'll see here atrazine is a restricted use pesticide. That means uh, I think you're supposed to be a licensed applicator to buy that. So if you're a homeowner, you may uh, not be able to buy this one. Atrazine is very inexpensive product as well. I was using it at 20 ounces per acre and it would do great on knocking out some of the cool season weeds. I was mixing it with this product here called Triplet, which is a new farm product, which is the same company that makes the change up. Uh, and, and this is a three-way product. It's got 2,4-D in it. It's gonna do great as far as knocking out dandelions and, and hairy bittercress. A lot, you know, hen bit, hairy bittercress, dandelions, purple dead net, a lot of the weeds that we're seeing, the cool season weeds popping up. So why did I change from using triplet and atrazine? And so this year I decided to make the swap over to manor and change up. What's the big deal? Well, there was actually a couple of reasons why I did it. Let me tell you uh, the main reason is because of the two weeds that give me problems in my area. One is field matter, field, and then matter is spelled M-A-D-D-E-R, field matter. It's a little green broadleaf weed that puts out purple flowers in the springtime, and I have found that if I spray the atrazine and the triplet, that it does not do a very good job of controlling field matter. The other weed that I see oftentimes this time of year, in the springtime, early, uh, late in the winter, springtime, is called oxalis, O-X-A-L-I-S, also known as yellow wood sorrel. It looks like a little clover, but it's different from the white clover that's also common in our area. And so when I spray those two weeds with the triplet and nitrogen, it does not seem to control those weeds where Change Up is a very good product for both of those weeds. So I think, in my opinion, the Change Up and the Manor will get pretty much all the same weeds that the other combo was getting, but also 
get the field matter in Knox House, where I feel like the, the triplet and the atrazine was getting a lot of weeds, but just missing out on those two weeds. And that was frustrating to have to go back and spot treat those. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm making the switch. The other is, when I started in my mind, I was just thinking, yeah, is it worth it? Because I believe it's gonna cost more uh, to use change up and, and manner, though no, that change up could be a little bit pricey. But when I started actually crunching the numbers and using the change up at that very, very low rate of 12 ounces per acre, which again, I says even below the label rate, I have found that when you combine that with the 0.25 ounces of metsulfuron, that it's actually still very effective. Now, any product you use is most likely gonna be a little bit slower when the temperatures are cold. So in the summer, when it warms up, I mean, this can be a very fast combination, uh, especially the change up, gonna get super fast results. But I think it's still gonna be very effective. It's just gonna be a little slower as the weather is cooler. When I started crunching the numbers at those rates, it was basically a wash in price compared to the triplet and atrazine, it was very little difference in the cost. And so I thought, you know what? I think I'm basically not increasing my expenses at all. And I think that I am gonna pick up these two extra tough weeds, the field matter and the oxal. So at that point, it became something I thought just made sense. And that's why I made the change in what I'm doing for my customers in my lawn care business. I'm really excited about this year. I'm about to get out there and start spraying yards. I'm gonna mix my tank up, mix up these products. I've got my grand spray rig ready to go. And I'm about to start spraying all these yards because I wanna get them all done before the end of February so I can get ahead of the crabgrass. Again, I would rather spend a little bit more money on the front end, get a good pre and post emergent application that's gonna save me a ton of time walking around backpack spraying weeds throughout the spring and summer months. Real quick, one of the other things I've done for my own personal business this year, I hired a website SEO company. They're called Footbridge Media. They build your website, do, do your search engine optimization, and they also uh, help me get more Google reviews for my business. So it's really great. I'm currently ranking number one on Google in my area, and that leads to a lot of new customers for my business. They've given me a affiliate link with a special deal. It's normally $249 a month, and that includes hosting your website, building your website, search engine optimization. But for my link, it's $199 a month. So that link is in the description. These guys have been very professional. You can go check out my brand new website at alabamalawnpros.com. Use the link in the description if you're looking for a website SEO company. Like I said, you're gonna save yourself 50 bucks a month by using my link. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts on the combination I'm using for weed control and look forward to being a very active, busy year on YouTube and having a great year with my local lawn care business. We'll see you guys in the next video.